Good morning everyone and uh, this is CVE 103 Building Systems Design um, Unit 1 Blueprints and Construction Drawings A Universal Language So we are starting with Module 1 that is Introduction Welcome to the first module of this course So for this first lesson we will be defining what is a blueprint and its function and it is also important for you to understand the different types of blueprints and their uses and what are the content of those blueprints. So by the end of this module, you should be able to first define what is a blueprint, uh, determine the types of blueprint and understand the uses and contents of a blueprint. So in the construction industry, uh, the term blueprint generally refers to a composite of several plans, meaning it is a compilation or a combination of different drawings that are assembled into an organized set of drawings to, tr to transmit, to communicate as much, informa as, as much information about the project as it can be placed on paper in one or two dimensional views. So that is according to Sam A. Kuba. So that is why yung, uh, unit one natin, it's called uh, a uh, blueprint is considered a universal language because um, blueprint, uh, so when you have a blueprint, uh, even though uh, uh, in, a, in a construction firm, even though iba-iba kayo, especially mga inter international na mga construction firm, iba-iba kayo ng mga nationalities, but uh, looking on the uh, blueprint, lahat nyo may intindihan kung ano yung uh, uh, nasa blueprint. So that is why it is called universal language. Somehow, so ganun, no? So overview on reading blueprint. So blueprint, uh, blueprint reading consists essentially of finding information on prints. So the information may be displayed on a uh, drawing in the form of lines, notes, symbols, and schedules. So, kung nakikita ka ng blueprint, uh, konti lang yung mga uh, words na makikita nyo, but mostly, those are drawings, lines, uh, symbols, schedules, so lahat, yun yung uh, blueprint. So, uh, there are general process and sequence for reading, uh, reading a blueprint. So it can be summari summarized as follows. So first is you verify. So you verify that the set of drawings or and yung specifications niya is complete. So dapat kompleto yung drawing na yon. And also, you want to verify if the document that you are holding is the most current. Kasi, I mean, a building construction, hindi lang, hindi lang uh, once gagawin yung plan. Merong uh, iba-ibang, sta on different stages, merong mga changes na in-apply. So, make sure that uh, on that phase of construction, you are holding or you are reading the uh, complete and the uh, updated uh, version of the plan. And next is, you review the site or plot of the Plan. So, uh, that is to better comprehend the setting of the building and its general topography. So, ano ba yung orientation ng building? Where, where is the uh, building facing or ano yung location niya? Uh, and yung mga katabi niyang mga uh, surrounding na mga uh, buildings or mga um, uh, objects. And then, third is you visually, of course, visually scan the architectural drawings. So, uh, that is also to get better understanding, overall understanding of your project. So, you look at the um, title block to um, extract information. So, title block are um, uh, on the first page or, or located in every page of the building. So, nandun yung um, uh, Information pertaining to the project, so yung consultant name, client name, and project title, ano yung, uh, what are the uh, information about those projects. 
And then also you check for unusual or complicated features that may impact how the building is constructed. So that is in particular, uh, you review the elevation and your sections and also your materials used. Because it's a drawing, there are elevations where you see the uh, face of the building uh, on front, side, and back. So also yung section, yung uh, what are the, uh, yung sa loob ng building and indicated din doon yung mga material. So i-review mo yun. So kung tama ba yung nalagay doon. And fourth one is you review the foundation plan. Of course, this is very important for to review the foundation plan and also read the general notes para mas maintindihan mo yung mga construction specifications and yung mga uh, relevant information about dun sa drawing. Kasi, uh, you will, uh, in construction, nagsisimula ka dun sa foundation. So, dapat, uh, tama yung uh, drawing na na-receive mo. And, fifth one is, review the structures, wall construction. And, uh, what are the material and methods used? Kasi, naka-indicate dun. So, um, uh, you study the details uh, that uh, that is showing how the wall is um, constructed uh, and make sure na uh, nakalagay siya dun sa design foundations niya kasi a wall also have a foundation so yung wall footing so para malaman nyo kung uh, which, wo uh, which wall if any are uh, load bearing and which are not. So, yung mga walls is, uh, meron walls that are load bearing, meaning may, may kinakarry siyang load. And there, there are also walls na, uh, which are non-load bearing. So, wala siyang contribution sa strength ng no, uh, uh, building. And then, sixth is, um, uh, uh, check all notes. So, uh, usually, notes are uh, shown sa lahat ng plans but uh, um, generally uh, yung plumbing mechanical electrical drawings are composed of notes also composed of uh, uh, many notes and specifications so kailangan mo i-review din yung uh, plumbing mechanical and electrical drawings so um, so if you check all notes on these plans that is to see if there have been any uh, revisions. So, nakalagay dun yung mga changes dun sa notes. So, uh, check to see if the building codes have been taken into account. So, of course, um, uh, we have a set of uh, rules and regulations that is written on a book, yung NSCP natin, the uh, Building Code of the Philippines. So, kailangan uh, yung construction is abiding those uh, regulation, regulations and codes. So, that is to ensure that the notes on the drawings are clear and that are no ambiguity. And then last is to review the specification. So it is important to review these this specifications and compare them to the drawings. So specifications uh, normally have priority over drawings because they don't have specify kung, uh, that, that are written, uh, written information about the building. So nakalagay yung mga important notes. So if there are uh, discrepancies, so the consultant should be notified. So, uh, up to date, uh, you can produce drawings by uh, manual and also by computer system. So, uh, starting with technical drawing or also known as drafting. Uh, technical drawing is the practice of creating accurate presentations of objects for ar architecture and engineering needs. So, um, a, pra a practitioner of the discipline is known as yung, so of course, familiar ka yung drafter. So, um, today, uh, the mechanics of uh, drafting tasks have consider considerably changed through the use of AutoCAD. So, that is um, uh, computer systems where uh, you generate, uh, your, you draw or generate the drawings um, using uh, computer softwares. But regardless of uh, whether a drawing is drawn manually or, or with computer assistance, it must be reproduce reproducible. So, kailangan na na reproduce siya. Um, uh, kasi minsan, it is uh, paper, so minsan nawawala or kailangan mag-provide ng uh, many copies.
para to make sure na uh, hindi mawala yung original. So, um, in manual drawing, you produce your um, output using blueprinting. So, uh, parang Xerox copy lang, so, pero malaki lang siya. So, it is in a blueprint. And also, yung CAD generated naman ng mga drawing. So, print mo lang using yung uh, soft copy ng AutoCAD mo. And moving on to the manual drafting, so um, as its name uh, suggests, so manual drafting is drawing and making the plans manually with the use of set of uh, tools and technique. So in addition, so the drafter should have a complete mastery of the mechanic of drawing and high standard of precision and accuracy as well as close attention to detail. So, um, so yung sa CV-150 natin, so that is manual drafting, yung mga nang ginawa natin. So, um, you have to master the use of a uh, different uh, set of tools. So, merong mga uh, T-square, iba-ibang pencil, yung mga uh, guides, yung mga templates, rulers. So, um, uh, for a manual dra uh, drafter, so must, uh, master siya sa paggamit ng mga tools. And also, how you use the tools in a form of a technique. So, for example, yung ano natin, yung uh, lettering. So, hindi ka lang basta basta magsusulat. So, there are strokes for each letter, unique for each letter na kailangan mong i-follow. So, that is a technique. So, um, so, aside from learning what are the tools and what are the techniques, so, you must also be uh, capable of creating high standard of precision accuracy na mga drawing. So, kailangan meron kang precision and accuracy kasi uh, in a manual drafting, so dapat it is as precise and as, as accurate as possible kasi um, uh, yun yung gagamitin nyo of course sa drawing. So, minsan, uh, there are times na minimeasure mi, mi yung drawing mismo to get yung actual na mga information or yung mga details. So, that is manual drafting. So, what are the types of blueprints? So, um, uh, providing, so, uh, uh, say, uh, so, alam natin na, uh, blueprint provides uh, uh, or uh, entails uh, information about sa drawing. So, by providing accurate construction drawings, so, uh, it helps uh, ensure that a construction project will proceed in an orderly manner with reduced cost and time-consuming rework by construct contractors and subcontractors down the line. So, kasi, if uh, na mali ka na pagbasa ng um, blueprint or yung drawing, so, example, yung, yung foundation and yung column, so, mali yung paggawa mo, so, hindi basta-basta na matatanggal mo lang agad yan. So, you'll have an additional uh, work uh, workforce and time to consume to correct yung mga naging mali mo sa um, part na yun. So, uh, construction drawings are generally cat categorized according to their intended purpose. So, iba-iba yung construction drawings depende sa purpose. So, first is yung preliminary drawings. And then, second is presentation drawings, working drawings, shop or assembly drawings, and specialized and miscellaneous drawings. So, starting with the preliminary design and concept drawings. So, uh, speaking of preliminary, at the initial promotional stage of the project, so the architect or yung designer often uh, prepares preliminary sketches, So, which are essentially it is a schematic design or concept development of the Drawing. So, uh, by providing such drawings, uh, this will give you a convenient and practical basis. Uh, that is for communication between the designer and the owner of the uh, idea formula uh, or in the idea formulation stage. So, mga sketches pa, no? And also, um, it is easy to make an alteration. So, uh, kasi, uh, especially yung medyo picky na owner so may uh, may iba yung mga gusto niya so on the on the formulation stage uh consolidate mo yung mga <coughs> uh, suggestion yung mga kagustuhan ng yung ano uh, customer 
So, kaya, uh, on this stage, uh, drawings go through many uh, alterations. So, also, this, uh, this is helping the client to determine the most aesthetically attractive and functional design para sa ayon sa kagustuhan niya. So, these drawings are not meant for construction but rather for explanatory purposes. So, uh, hindi pa ito gagamit niya for construction. So, for explanatory uh, purposes pa siya. So, you provide an overall concept that reflects the client's needs as well as functional studies. So, material to be used, what are the preliminary cost estimates and budgets, preliminary construction approvals, and etc. So, iba-iba yung, uh, depende sa uh, kailangan ng designer, so you will provide that. So, we will go uh, different alterations, mga uh, um, uh, revisions, so ganun. Okay, so after the preliminary drawings, so uh, the, uh, the owner, nasabi na kung anong gusto niya, gano'ng kalaking building, how it will look outside, how, to, how it will look inside. So next is yung presentation drawings. So uh, the purpose of presentation drawings is to present the proposed building or a facility, so house ba or uh, gymnasium, in an attractive setting. So at the proposed site for promotional purposes. So this, they usually consist of uh, perspective views. So usually with com uh, completed with colors and shading. So because uh, uh, ano eh, uh, to, that is to promote, so to sell your uh, uh, your drawing. So um, although they may also contain nicely drawn elevation views with shadows and landscaping. So ganun yung uh, presentation drawings. So, uh, presentation drawings are uh, therefore essentially a uh, selling tool. So, it is a selling tool. It means uh, a means to sell the building or project before it reaches the working drawing stage. So, and also, uh, it is used in uh, brochures and other outlets. So, parang assuming you go to the mall. So, yung mga uh, housing agent doon, di ba, may mga binibigay na brochure. So, yun yung uh, example ng presentation drawing. So, it, uh, 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 so in this phase, uh, uh, it is also where uh, the schematic design is developed, finalized, and approved by the client. So, if uh, after ng presentation, uh, uh, preliminary drawings, uh, you will present your output dun sa client mo using your presentation drawing. So, uh, dun din malalaman ng uh, client mo na, okay, so final na ba yun? So, or may gusto siyang changes, may gusto siyang change. So, and then after after that, so, um, this is the example of a presentation drawing. So, ito yung papakita mo sa client mo. So, um, by looking at this, so the client, ano ba, masasatisfy ba siya? May gusto ba siyang i-change? So, yun yung mangyayari. So, this presentation can play a pivotal uh, five role in convincing a client to approve a particular design. So, after presentation drawing, so, uh, na-finalize na, na yun na yung magiging uh, uh, building plan ng client. So, you will na, uh, now going to make the working drawings. So working drawings are also called uh, project and construction drawings. So this includes all drawings required by the various trades to complete a project. So you may nandun na yung architectural plan, um, foundation plan. So, yung, uh, so these drawings are technically and technical and are intended to furnish all the necessary information, so from construction to uh, finishing, so yun yung uh, makikita sa working drawings. Uh, working drawings shown uh, in size uh, shows the size, quantity, location, and relationship relationship of the building components, and also. Uh, they are typically prepared in considerable detail by the architect or the engineer. So that is why the amount of time and effort and expended on them comprises the major uh, 
uh, portion of the consultant's design services. So, working drawings serves many functions. So, first is they are the means for receiving a, bu a building permit. So, uh, before construction starts, so the local building authority or sa city engineers, for example, they have to review your working drawings to ensure that uh, they meet the required building codes. So, as I was saying, so aside from building codes, there are also uh, electrical codes, plumbing codes, and fire codes. So, a building permit will be issued after uh, the approval of your working drawings. Next is, they are used for competitive bidding. So, familiar naman kayo sa bidding, no? So, uh, they allow contractors to study the documents and make bids based on their review of the drawings and other documents. So, uh, thus providing the owner with the most economical and cost for construction. So, that is yung bidding. So, um, uh, pababaan kayo ng construction price but also uh, retaining yung structural integrity ng building. So, yun nangyari sa mga buildings. For, uh, especially sa mga um, sa DPWH, di ba, minsan nagpupost sila for a call for bidding. So, yung mga uh, private contractor then they attend that bidding uh, by reviewing yung working drawings mo, mag gagawa siya ng sarili nilang cost estimate and project guide para um, to propose on that bidding. So, kung sino yung pinaka magandang uh, proposal, yun yung makukuha sa bidding. And third is, they provide instructions for construction. So, of course, so working drawing should contain all the necessary inform information to build the structure. Kasi, yun yung follow eh. So, yun yung magiging guide mo, kumbaga. Yun yung magiging guide mo in erecting your project or yung building. Uh, fourth is, they are used for mater material take-off. So, um, labor, material, and other estimates are made, for, are made from working drawings prior to the commencement of the construction. So, as I was saying, yung builder is, uh, pag-aaral na niya yung um, plan mo, so gano kalaki yung building, ano material na gagamitin, how many labor force are needed, so don't mo, don't try estimate, so before commencement of the construction, kasi it's very important na malaman mo kung ano yung um, overall or total budget na magagamit mo for that construction, kasi money matters, no? Okay, so fifth is, they provide a permanent record, so uh, that is for future use, such as, um, meron kong gustong i-remodel or i-gustong changes. So, um, uh, those drawings are permanent records. So, yung iba pa nga, yung mga pinagawa nilang bahay is tinatago-tago nila yung mga uh, blueprint ng mga uh, building na yan. Kasi, kung meron kang mga gustong i-changes or i-model, so, madali na, siyang, madali na siyang tingnan kung meron kang hawak-hawak na blueprint. Next is, they can be used as a basis for leasing purposes. And so, uh, lastly, it is used as basis of the contract. So after the project is awarded, for example, you are a private contractor, so the drawing form the basis of contract between the contractor, subcontractor, and the client. So um, that drawing, uh, uh, drawings connect the contractor, subcontractor, and client. So um, they meet for that drawing, so uh, on the erecting of the uh, starting of the project, so um, the common uh, point between the contractor subcontractor client is yung drawing. So that is why that is the basis of contract between sa mga uh, persons involved. Is shop and assembly drawings. So um, or uh, shop and simple drawings are also called fabrication drawings. So um, uh, these are technical drawings prepared by various contractors, uh, subcontractors, and supply supplying participating in the construction process to show how their product is to be to be made. So these uh, drawings are for specific or specific item that is not usually uh, visible sa elevation or sa floor plan ng 
isang uh, building. So, that is why it is also called um, fabrication drawings. So, since many products contain more than one component, especially may mga com complicated product like mga appliances or mga furnitures, uh, shop and assembly drawings or fabric fabric fabrication drawings identify each component and show how they uh, all fit, uh, fit together uh, prepared in a considerable detail. So these drawings contains all the necessary information about that item. So regarding the size, shape, material, and provisions for connecting or attachment for each member, especially for those um, uh, items that are being uh, uh, needs assembling. So uh, this also includes details such as schedules, diagrams, uh, related illustrations uh, and uh, material, product, or systems for some portion of the work prepared by the construction uh, contractor, subcontractor, manufacturer, distributor, or supplier. So, um, uh, for example, our elevators. So, elevators have separate uh, drawing. Uh, that is yung uh, fabrication drawing. So, how they fabricate yung mga um, uh, elevator, yung mga machine or yung mga uh, specific furniture na uh, gagawin dun sa uh, building. So, example of this is a, uh, for example, uh, water sta water station details. So, uh, that is for the Havana Internet Cafe. So, these are the details for the, for that uh, water station. So, this is the plan section uh, side section side elevation and front elevation and yung uh, carvings niya so may mga measurements yung mga material yung mga knob so yun ito yung tinatawag na uh, fabrication detail so uh, you cannot see this on a uh, floor plan or elevation ng uh, or section ng yung buong building so uh, it requires uh, separate information but of course this is from the uh, manufacturer, galing sa manufacturer, no? so this will be the guide when you install this uh, dun sa, uh, for example, dun sa uh, internet cafe ng uh, uh, Havana internet cafe. So last is the specialized and miscellaneous drawing. So uh, these are detailed drawings. So um, detailed drawing provide information about specific part of the uh, construction. So usually it is drawn on a larger scale. So for example, may mga uh, sa floor plan or sa foundation uh, foundation plan, makikita mo yung footing and yung column. But you cannot show there the uh, number of bars or yung thickness ng column na gagamitin mo doon. So you'll need separate drawing that is detailed drawing to provide information about that specific part. So, that is to show features that do not appear dun sa uh, general drawing. So, uh, details, detailed drawing contains uh, both graphic and written information. So, um, yes. So, uh, an area of construction is drawn at a larger scale in order to clearly show the materials dimension or method of construction sa specific part na yun. So, also what are design, joint, or attachment, and so on. So, details are often drawn in section. So, para makita yung uh, yung loob nung uh, material. Or, for example, yung column. So, you have to draw a section para makita mo yung mga uh, uh, reinforcement na ginamit dun sa specific na part na yun. So, you basically slice through that part uh, made through a specific area and the inner components are visible. So, de details are always drawn to scale. So, it could be um, so na take them sa 150 natin, no? yung merong uh, scale na pinapalaki yung drawing or pinapalit yung drawing. So, uh, but uh, in construction, yung mga detail ng building construction is usually in enlarge siya. So, malaki yung uh, 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 scale niya compared dun sa mga general drawings. So, the scale for each detail will vary depending 
on how much information is, is required to make the construction clear to the builder. So for example of this is a typical foundation, foundation detail with brick. So ito yung foundation ng, ano mo, ng uh, wall mo. So ito yung wall mo. So this is the uh, footing, so yung foundation niya. So there, the, uh, there are dimensions, yung mga uh, rebars, then yung bricks. So lalagyan ng brick yung wall niya. So ito yung uh, detail ng construction. So by providing a detail drawing, so uh, dito, dito titingnan ng drawing how, uh, ng uh, builder how they will uh, construct yung specific part na yun. So that is the purpose of a uh, detail drawing. Okay, so um, moving on to the title blocks. So title blocks, uh, using title blocks it is a standard practice uh, that is included on each page of the uh, blueprint. So it is a uh, typically located in the bottom right hand corner of the drawing frame. So uh, so first page ng, especially sa first page, merong title block yan. So nakalagay doon yung mga uh, information. So kanina uh, na-mention natin yung mga client's name, yung contractor, and yung project, yung location ng project. So nandun yung title block. So um, information on title blocks uh, are, um, first is yung name. So that is the name of consultant, yung company, yung um, organization, then yung address nila, and then yung uh, contact number. So next is the title of the drawing. So this is to identify the project. So this is by a, a, a client name, yung company name, or yung project name. And then next is yung drawing number. So this can be a specific job or file number for the drawing. So kung bagay yung ano yun, yung um, barcode, parang ganon yung uh, drawing number. Uh, next is yung scale, of course. So, it is important to uh, specify yung scale na, ng drawing na yun. So, where more than one scale is used, as is found on details, uh, detail sheets, the space for indication of scale should read as as noted or as shown. So, dapat naka-specify doon yung scale na ginamit on that drawing. Then, um, signature or initial. So, the signature initials of the drafter, checker, approving, officer, the issuing officer with the respective dates should be shown. So, um, drawing plans or blueprints, hindi lang sa isang tao dumadaan yung blueprint. So, from, from engineer to uh, from architect to engineer, so yung owner, yung mga checker, yung drafter, so lahat sila nagsasign dun sa drawing na yun. So, and uh, la, uh, last is yung sheet identification. So, each sheet, so parang pages niya, no? May pages in din yung mga blueprint. So, each sheet should be numbered in relation to the entire sheet of drawing. So, for example, um, merong 20 pages. So, merong 1 uh, slash 20. So, that is the first page out of the 20 pages. So, thus, if the set consi consists of 10 sheets, each consecutive sheet is numbered from uh, 1 to 10, uh, 1 of 10 or 2 of 10 and so on. So, scale. The graphic uh, scale is the graphic representation of the project is drawn to some portion of actual size of the project. So usually in English unit, uh, one eight inch is equal to a one foot. So, uh, but uh, we are familiar with the metric units. So usually in drawing, especially sa mga building uh, residential plans, one cm is equal to one meter. So discuss that na to sa ano natin, na CV one fifty natin. So in in the, in the drawing, the actual measurement of one cm, don sa drawing, is one meter, don sa uh, reality or sa actual construction. So yun yung scale. So by using scale, um, uh, papers or yung plans. Uh, or paper size often affected by the temperature and humidity. No? So, medyo nagkakrumple, nagsishrink yung paper. So, there uh, there may be stretch, stretching or shrinking. So, due to this and other factors, so we avoid relying on measurements taken by laying a ruler on the 
drawing. So, for example, uh, example, kung bago pa yung blueprint, so okay lang siguro. But if uh, medyo matagal yung draw, old na yung drawing, nagamit, uh, pinagpasapasahan na siya, so medyo na crumple na. So, um, you cannot use the ruler to measure dun sa drawing. Kasi, baka nag-stretch na siya or ba na-shrink na siya. So, there are constructions or specific uh, construction na very sensitive to measurement. So, uh, kung ano yung nakalagay doon, kung nakalagay doon is 4cm, so, yun na yung uh, kukunin mo. Hindi mo na yung measure ulit doon sa um, drawing scale. Okay, so, um, that's it for the module 1. So, uh, in preparation, for the uh, next module, that is yung, uh, about AutoCAD, so we have a self self-assessment question or assignment. So, um, as of today, using AutoCAD, I have made the drawing and reproducing plans very easy and fast. So, that is the um, effect of technology advancement. So, um, I want to explain what are the importance and advantages of manual drafting, why it should still be used, or why uh, a, uh, as a civil engineer, you must also be equipped with the skill in manual drafting and blueprinting despite, despite these technological advancements. So, uh, discuss this briefly. So, I will post a um, assignment doon sa Google Classroom natin. So, doon yung uh, sasagutan yung assignment na to. Okay, so, references. Ito yung references natin. And, that ends our module one. So thank you for listening and have a good day.